The horror movie renaissance has begun, and we horror buffs are elated. We've been getting some epic movies in the genre. They've been pretty different from each other. Samara Weaving, who put herself on the map with Ready or Not, is coming back with another movie, a comedy thriller that stars Eric Dane, and Ray Nicholson in it as well. In this video, we'll give you what we know about the upcoming movie already. Let's begin with, let's go back to the 90s. So our fellow horror geeks, Samara Weaving is back with two very talented actors, Eric Dane and Ray Nicholson, and this time she's going all the way back to the 90s to bring us a thriller that has a twist of comedy. These two genres aren't joined together very often, but when they are, we see gems that are still uncut, and a psycho that originates from America. And after her performance in Ready or Not, we're more than ready to see what she brings to the table this time. We still aren't over the whole humans exploding as Samara's character just watched, and then went outside and had a cigarette like the badass that she is. And this time, we see her lined up for Borderline. No, not the personality disorder, we hope. There's already a lot of misrepresentation of that, and we aren't sure we want a thriller based on it again. Anyway, this latest horror project of hers, hopefully, would be a lot less bloody than her 29 19, ready or not. No, wait, we take that back. Samara Weaving kicked butt in that hilarious horror flick, and it would be great to see her get ready for another fight to the death. Just maybe not in a wedding dress. It was anxiety inducing to see her running for her life in that thing. How she did not trip over the borders before she tore them off is beyond us, to be honest. But she made it look cool, so it's fine. Next up, stop making her run. While her upcoming Upcoming film isn't quite checking the horror box, it definitely swings into the very familiar territory of the genre. Borderline tells the story of a woman who's barely avoiding stressful circumstances to survive. Yikes! She has to survive yet again? Can this woman catch a break? She's already set to appear in the upcoming sixth Scream movie, where she'll reunite with her Ready or Not directors Tyler Gillette and Matt Bettinelli Olpin. And they thought, why not double down and put her survivalist skills to the test. We get that she looks good with blood on her face, screaming and crying with a gun in hand as she tries to run away from whatever monstrosity is following her, but let her catch her breath before we give her some more fleeing to do. Variety reports that Weaving will take the main role in the new comedic thriller, currently in production in Vancouver. Titled Borderline, the movie's about a helplessly romantic sociopath who escapes from a mental institution and invades the the home of a 90s pop superstar. And who's the pop superstar? It's Weaving! We're also hoping with fingers and toes crossed that her fictional pop star's status is gonna come with lots of commentary on fame and maybe a catchy tune or two to break the psychotic tension. We're not expecting her to break into a song or a musical performance as she runs from the invader. This isn't Riverdale, but maybe a scene or two would do the job. And to see Samara Weaving singing and dancing is gonna be a joy in itself. Moving on with, he just wants some love. Oh, and guess what the very promising tagline of the movie says? He just wants to be loved. She just wants to survive. Okay, wait up, that's disturbing. Imagine you're terrified of someone because he's probably a psycho killer, but all he's looking for are hugs and cuddles. And you never know, he could come and stab you at any time. So, uh, beware? maybe? Joe Goldberg, much? This one hopefully doesn't stalk or kill your exes and friends. If you're wondering about the script, you need not worry at all, because it comes fresh off the guy who made The Blacklist, Jimmy Warden. If that name sounds a bit too familiar, it's because he also wrote The Babysitter, Killer Queen, and will be making his directorial debut with this movie. Lastly, a star-studded cast and crew. Not only do we have weaving in this movie, but the movie will star Eric Dane too. Remember McSteamy from Grey's Anatomy? He's back. We aren't sure if he's gonna be the invader, but if he is, can he invade our homes as well? Who would mind, to be fair? Along with him, we have Ray Nicholson from Panic and Licorice Pizza, Alba Baptista from Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris, and Jimmy Fails from The Last Black Man in San Francisco. All in all, a pretty amazing lineup, we must say. 
And that's not all, because Borderline has a lot of cards in its favor. A fun premise, a writer-director who has shown a lot of promise and is on the rise, a very solid cast led by Samara Weaving, and the support of a very talented production house. Lucky Chap Entertainment, the company, founded by Margot Robbie, Tom Ackerley, Sophia Kerr, and Josie McNamara back in 2014, will be producing the film. Since its birth, Lucky Chap has gathered a reputation for producing high-profile, female-led projects. Having collectively received 8 Academy Awards and 11 BAFTA nominations, that's pretty awesome and a nice change of pace from all the movies led by white men. The production company has also produced I, Tanya and Birds of Prey and is also coming up with Barbie. Lucky Chap is promoting the movie as a whip-smart, edge-of-your-seat comedic thriller with many twists and turns. Borderline doesn't have a release date yet, so keep your ears open for the announcement. We can hardly wait for Borderline, and with a premise like that, but for now, let's take a break from it and see what else its stars are doing. In other news, we start off with Samara Weaving's Scream 6 Raps Filming. Many horror movies have come from the horror renaissance, and now, because of it, many beloved movies are returning to the theaters thanks to new sequels. The same is the case with the Scream franchise. We are now getting the sixth movie, and now the slasher has even wrapped filming, so its release is pretty near. The sixth Scream movie is directed by the duo of Matt Bettinelli Olpen and Tyler Gillette, who were the filmmakers behind the fifth movie, which was the first movie after the death of Wes Craven. While there's been some drama on the set because of Nev Campbell's departure from her role, it's a pretty big thing that the upcoming slasher flick has managed to rap major photography. The cast and crew have even assembled as one big happy family on a sweet set photo from Instagram. Such pictures really show just how many people go into shooting any movie. This includes the Scream franchise, in spite of horror movies being known for being cheaper than other genres. We'll just have to wait and see what this collective effort of these artists created. Is it March 2023 yet? Following that, we have Rebecca Gayhart and her estranged husband, Eric Dane, attending Chili Cook-Off with their kids. We all remember when Rebecca Gayhart and Eric Dane filed for divorce in February 2018. But what's adorable to see is that they're continuing to put their family first. You don't see that a lot, especially in Hollywood. All that toxic ex thing has infested them too. Not just us regular people, the two attended the Malibu Chili Cook-Off with their children over the weekend. And it was very cute. The former couple attended the food festival with their daughters Billy, 12, and Georgia, 10. Eric and Rebecca kept their looks cool and casual for the outing. Nothing too fancy, because they probably just wanted to have some quiet time with their children. Dane wore a t-shirt and shorts, while his ex-wife sported a white dress and a sun hat. This family outing came four and a half years later, though, after the divorce. We wrap it up with fans want Eric Dane to bring Patrick Dempsey on Euphoria. McDreamy and McSteamy are friends? That's what we want to know. The two Grey's Anatomy stars died tragically in the show and left their fans feeling crushed, but it's safe to say that the two have remained close friends even after they said goodbye to Grey's Anatomy. And how do we know that? Fans went wild over an Instagram picture of the two together. And when they reunited, fans went absolutely wild wild over the two of them. That's why fans have gathered to bring him to the HBO drama. This dynamic duo is so loved that the fans have been demanding that Patrick Dempsey join forces with Eric Dane and have Dempsey make an appearance on the show that Dane's already a part of. Who wouldn't love to see that? The two Big Macs together on screen again? That's a win for everyone. That's it from our side for today. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, or thoughts about the new upcoming movie Borderline, starring Samara Weaving, Eric Dane, and Ray Nicholson, comment below. See you in the next one.